keep it together, ah. lads! Oh. Be stupid. You tried to be a smart ass. Fucking come on! Now! That's it, you're in for it! What an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zoltan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. 
Nobody's gonna read that drivel. Sheesh. What crawled into your britches and bit you? I'm just... worried. About who? Siri? Have a little faith, Geralt. You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this? You get it from Horson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything. Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine Kiadmil Foley. Gladiv Dorn Ep Tenaid Bundro Isne Iakas. Hmm. The curse invokes ugliness. My entire life, don't think I've seen anyone uglier than... Stunning Gemma? No. A certain deformed midget who appeared out of the blue on the shores of Hindersfjall. And now wanders around the Baron's castle. Ugh, you and Siri. Like two water droplets. Never know what either of you are talking about. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Maybe. Besides, the curse might have had something to do with Uma. I should collect him from the Baron. Uma? The, uh, deformed midget? What will you do with him? First, lift the curse. Maybe I can get some help at Kaer Morin. After that, who knows? You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other. Talked in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. Master Witcher, we've a gift for you.
mightier. Will's mightier than the sword, oh yes. Faster. Under your eye, who gave you that? Redanian soldiers, go fucking thieves of the last run. tells me all I need to know about you. Won't let them go see you. Around, eh? souls yielding pots. Eternal flame will burn away our sins. You know Gerard? Fellow from the hills outside town. Brought sheep cheese to market. Gosh, I know. Show me your sword. Eternal fire. Here's a copper. You. You'll choke to death on three. Come pounds. on now. Honor in the fatherland. <coughs> Long live, except. Spreads disease, defeatism, and desertion. You'll choke Come to through. death on three pounds. 
Stay out of my world. We don't need a pencil from no victory. You can't spread disease. Defeatism and desertion. Leave us be, we beg you. We've not got no need for your help. Have no fear, good man. Our labors shall be done quickly. The prowlers to be banished for good. Milton, look. Get out. In the flesh. Hail, Witcher. Let us go inside and greet you as befits an old friend. And you, fear not. We shall put an end to the rule of outlaws, soon. Found your message on a notice board. You see, Palmerin? I told you. The griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Peyron and Palmer and de Lonfall. Good to see you both. Been years. Be assured, we share your joy. You must forgive us our, uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hut as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. Get involved in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison that left this land still is at the mercy of numerous plagues. The tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These planterers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. So... Plan to go out and meet the bandits when they arrive? Fight them? Parmaron wishes first to appeal to their sense of decency. <laughs> but I expect they will be deaf to this. Yeah, completely. We must afford them a chance to stand down. Many a hardened outlaw has left the path of wrongdoing upon hearing words of admonition. Doesn't happen in these lands. Ever. If they do not heed my reprimand, we at least will know we have done all within our means to evade bloodshed. Fine. Naturally, I'll help when Palmerin's rhetoric falls on deaf ears. Excellent. Then we've but to wait for the rogues to arrive. Things are coming! Hear that? Your bandits have arrived. Let us go out to greet them. <laughs> <laughs> he mean us? I, Palmer and Delonfall, call upon you to repent. Search your hearts. Do you not see that they are blackened? <laughs> Regular punch and duty here. To prey upon commoners is no honor. To loot their meager stores. Abandon the path of shame, and we will spare you. <laughs> <laughs> right, good jest, that. Had us a laugh. Now, fuck off or we lose our patience and you lose something else. Nay, wait, Zorg. These lads are a lark. Mayhaps they know some tricks. Oi, players! Can you toss balls all loopity like? Or do that thing where one spits fire while the other farts? <laughs> Ha ha ha!
Noble Palmerin's giving you a chance. Now I'm gonna give you some advice. Do what he says. Or what? Or you'll find yourself fighting knights errant in the pay of the Duchess of Toussaint. And they eat scum like you with their morning porridge. Well, there's three of them. Two turtled up in armor. We'll come back later. Some wench sent them. Folk who say we's a feared of wenches and jesters. Ooh, insulted the Duchess. Not good. Indeed, we cannot let the affront go unpunished. I swear upon the heron you will pay with your own blood. By the crane, villains, ready your arms. Learn. <laughs> 